Hello YouTube, this is my tutorial on showing you guys how to hook up your MacBook Pro to your um, HD TV. The first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is buy a mini display port to HDMI adapter. Um, after doing lots of research, people have bought in adapters that do not transfer sound. Um, after talking to companies and following these guys, the Bear Store off of Amazon does transfer sound. I do own it and it does. And I have seen reviews of other sellers that they in fact claim they transfer sound but they do not. So this is the most affordable alternative to uh, the adapters on Apple's page. This is only $4.32 and I believe I got it for $9 shipped to my house, which is very, very cheap. Um, so here's what the cable looks like. There's your mini display and HDMI, your mini display side and your HDMI side. Very simple. All right, let's go to step one of the tutorial. Step one is to plug your adapter mini display side into the mini display port on your MacBook Pro. For step number two, you're going to want to select your HDMI input on your TV. The next thing you're going to do is plug the HDMI cable that is plugged into the input you selected on your TV into the HDMI side of the adapter. Your computer will then take a second and show up on the TV with a screensaver. For step number four, we're going to go to System Preferences, and we're going to click on Displays. We're then going to go to Arrangement, and click Mirror Displays. This will mirror your MacBook Pro screen to your TV screen. They will be displaying the same thing. We're then going to want to go to System Preferences again, and click Displays. And you're going to select, depending on your TV, 720p to 1080p. 1080p is the best resolution. A new problem with the software update that Mac just put out is you cannot use underscan anymore for some odd reason. This allowed you to adjust what shows up on your TV. For instance, on my TV, I can't see the top menu bar anymore. Um, it's just a little minor thing missing. For step number five, we are going to get sound to play through our TV instead of our MacBook Pro. We're going to go to System Preferences and select Sound. We're then going to select RTV that we want the sound to play out of. For step number six, we are going to enjoy Full HD with sound. Yeah, yeah. 